summers and friends, making tracks to great destinations. Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue seas. There are fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams, and lots of trees where the birds sing. There are windmills and a coal mine, and that's where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. It was winter holiday time on the island of Sodor, and all the engines were rushing to get their jobs finished, done, and on schedule for the big holiday Christmas party. All the engines loved this time of year. The snow was white, and all the trains were running on time. taking passengers up and down the main lines from Richardstown to Napford Station. As Christmas was just right around the corner, all the engines had to be extremely busy delivering their trains on time and on schedule. Stephen and Jane were collecting lights, garland, and other Christmas ornaments to hang at the stations for the big Christmas holiday party up at Riverstown Station. Emily and Toby were carrying passengers up and down the branch lines to show them the various sights of Sodor. This was a wonderful time for all the engines. The stations were decorated with Christmas ornaments and the sheds were hung with garland. And it was just a lovely time for all the engines. With all the engines being really useful, every train on the island of Soto had their trains delivered right on schedule with no time to lose. Even Thomas made sure that his people and parcels were delivered to their stations right on time as he ran his branch line happily with his two faithful coaches, Annie and Clarabo. Thomas was just finishing his last little night when Sir Tom Hat had stepped out of his office to give Thomas the news. Ah, Thomas, just the engine I needed to see. I was handing over to the sheds to give you the news, but since you're here, I might as well tell you about the special train tomorrow well, night. Well, thank you, sir. Annie and Clara will be quite pleased to hear this. <sighs> What's the problem now, James? Must you have a fit every time someone gets a better job than you? Oh, it's nothing, Thomas. The Fat Controller picks you because you're his favorite. Everyone knows that. Absolutely not, Henry. You know, for a wise engine, you do share a side with a lot of the hot-headed engines. Yes, you are, Thomas. You're, the only reason why you're Sir Tom and Pat's favorite is because of that number one on your side. James, feeling ever so very annoyed, left the station. Okay, good, Thomas. I want you tomorrow to go to Daffrick Station to pick up Gordon's usual coaches. 
A very special engine is coming to the island of Soldor. And you are to pull this train with a special visitor. The North Pole. Thank you, sir. Can't wait till James hears this. <laughs> Night had fallen across the island of Sodor, and Thomas could not wait for the next day to come. His friends had already gone to bed, and he stayed wide awake. Soon, Thomas fell asleep, and before he knew it, morning had come across the island of Sodor. Once morning had came, Thomas ran off on his branch line, stopping at every station, picking up and dropping off passengers, with his last stop being at Victorstown Station. <laughs> special with. Could it be Percy? Could it be James? Could it be Henry? He couldn't know. Thomas just couldn't know who he'd be taking the special with. Thomas had reached the big city and wasn't too far from Bridgerstown Station where he had made his last stop for the night before heading back to the yards. 